welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to be talking about how you can deal with anything life throws at you and how to do it with just a little change in, in how you think. So I brought on somebody who I've known for a very long time who is uh, near and dear to my heart. And uh, yeah, without further ado, here's Cam. What's up, man? Happy to be here. We're glad to have you. Can you give us a little intro on sort of who you are, what you do, and maybe a little fun fact about yourself? Yeah, yeah. So my name's Cameron Zamat. I'm 21 years old. I'm a freelance videographer and a CrossFit coach. Right now living in Tarpon Springs, the number one small town in the US. And uh, yeah, um, one fun fact about me is that you and I are the same person. Yeah. And you were right. So I was just telling them um, how to deal with uh, with anything that life throws at you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely got some life experience with that. I, I think we all do. Um, do you have anything you could like? Like, what happened in the in the past year that that you've had to deal with? Sure. So, let's see, one year ago. Okay, so my grandma died, and then my girlfriend and I broke up, and my dog got really sick, and almost died. Then my family moved, and then I don't really have a summer sun. I don't. I didn't really have a summer break because of some trainings at the Naval Academy. And then I got injured and I had to stop my competition season. And then later that fall, I made friends with the wrong person and got into some hot water at the Naval Academy. And uh, yeah, I ended up going through this crazy long process which I don't fully understand to this day and uh, ended with me having to leave the Academy. And I guess that, that brings me here. That is a lot. What, uh, what was the worst one? Uh, probably a toss-up between my dog and the academy thing. How do you deal with these type of things? That's a tough one. Um, I'm gonna probably address the academy one for this just because you know it's tough dealing with a dog dying. You can't really do much about that. So I'd say that to deal with these types of things, the best thing is just to know yourself and to be, be your own best friend. 100%. Um, I know that sounds really cliche. You're probably expecting to hear that, but uh, but it's so true. Um, when everything's falling apart and it seems like everybody's against you and you know life just just sucks. If you can't live inside your own head, then then you're just gonna crumble. You're just gonna collapse. And I know so many people that are their own worst enemy, and and like that makes me so sad because I I, I can't relate to that. And but trust me, I'm I'm my hardest critic. I'm my harshest critic, and I'm really hard on myself a lot. But but it's just tough love. It's you know like with your brother, you're you're hard on them, but you but you love them, and uh, and it's really important. Like it's 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 hard to do, but practicing every day is uh is really great preparation. I'd say for when the, when the big rocks come along. Yeah. So I so I know a lot of people will. Probably listen to you say and say, "Oh, that's that's easy for you to say. You already like yourself. The the choice is yours. You can either choose to find something amazing or something to 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 criticize about yourself every single day." I was uh, I was just reading a a book by Viktor Frankl. Uh, he was a he was a POW in World War II, and he said that it usually wasn't the strongest or the beefiest guys that were able to survive the starvation and the deprivation in the prisoner camps it was the guys who who didn't tear themselves down and who didn't just overthink everything and those those guys who made the best of their situation and uh and it's 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 tough but it's also simple it's that simple you you got to just get rid of the oh that's just not me mentality and and a lot of things will open up for you I love that yeah. so you said you have to be your own best friend but like, how did, where does everybody else play into it? Because I mean, I know that you had a lot of support, and um, I, I was there. Uh, so how does how does that happen? I know you're not even alone. Having a support system is huge, huge. My family is hands down what got me through that whole academy thing. Um, my family and uh, and my friends, Tyler, Abby, Gus, 
you don't know who you are. Shout out to you. You're the best. Uh, they really, they really got got me through it. Uh, I think being your own best friend, if I could put it in a in an analogy, is like it's like the bread to the PB and J. It's a basic requirement, but your support system is everything that makes a sandwich worth eating, right? Having people there for you is really like really what what makes it bearable, what matters. My parents were the the first people I saw on March twenty seventh uh, when I got done having my little chat with Ted, and. Uh, it made everything okay. If you're listening to this right now, anybody out there, give your parents a call. They'd love to hear from you. Thank you, parents. Do it. Do it. That's so true. So what happened after you saw mom and dad? I mean, I just kept it together. You know? Uh, I was pretty stoic about it all, and, and that really helped everyone around me feel better. And then when they felt better, I felt better which in turn helped them feel better. And it was just, it was just a cycle from there. And it was amazing, it was awesome. You know, that's, that's definitely part three. What is? Being stoic, honestly. It's an amazing philosophy that I have so much left to learn about, but, uh, but essentially what I get from it and what I, what I like to apply to my own life is, is to not, not let what you can't control, control you. Does that make sense? So if, if something's out of your control, just, just let it be, you know, deal with it, but, but don't let it affect you. So, uh, it's, it's definitely easier said than done, but you got to practice with the little things in life. And then when you practice the little things, you can practice with the bigger things. And, and then by the time you get to the, uh, the world series, you know, there's going to be one day in your life and you're going to be at the world series and you have to cash in on the lessons that you've learned. And, and by that time, it'll be second nature. And that's, that's what you have to train for, train for we have to prepare for this so you know I I got a text one time from from a buddy that actually summed up what you're talking about uh, a few minutes ago pretty well uh, do you yeah I yeah, yeah. remember the text because uh, I, I got it too because so I, I actually just sent this to my brother uh, a few nights ago actually it was a quote by Marcus Aurelius in his book, Meditations, and he said, uh, I'm going to sound like a philosopher here, forgive me, but uh, thou must be a promontory of the sea, against which, though the waves beat continually, yet it both itself stands, and around it are stilled and quieted the swelling waves. Nice good that. That's more or less it. Love that. Um, anything else? Uh, you want to you wanna leave the, the people with? <sighs> yeah, just one thing. Uh, read, specifically poetry. If you, can, uh, if you can read poetry and take yourself seriously enough to, to actually get a message out of whatever poem it is you're reading, then uh, I think that's the most powerful way to, to look deep inside yourself and, and to, to be proprioceptive, you know, to, to learn something about yourself. Dude, I... I agree. I kind of said it better myself. Um, I, I love poetry too, but that's probably because... Well, dude, thank you so much for coming on the show. We're inside, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So even though this was an awesome interview, next week we have probably the best interview that I think I'm ever going to do. Uh, it's with, yeah, you know what? My barber. I've talked to him too. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be wild. It's, it's going to be wild. So um, until then, thank you for coming out. Oh, yeah. All right. Until next time. Peace. See ya.